Hey everyone, I just want to give my uh, condolences to like the the victims and the families of the uh, the Orlando mass shooting uh, tragedy. I remember like hearing the news like the day that it happened, like the morning that it had happened, and I know this has been like a week ago, you know, because these events occurred on uh, June 12th, which was I think like an early Sunday morning. I remember waking and hearing that like you know that it was like a uh, a mass shooting in Orlando and I actually live in Florida kind of not not I ain't gonna say not necessarily too like far from Orlando but it's kind of like but I'm in Florida you know I can get to Orlando you know it's no problem I even been there a couple of times but um the idea that it was so close to like my, my like my area you know while I'm at you know that's what's kind of like drawing more attention and making me even kind of more like interested in you know like whoa like the deadliest mass shooting in uh, the history of the United States happened right here in my, my state, Florida, you know, but like in another city, Orlando, cause you know, I'm in Tampa, you know. But, um, yeah, I just want to uh, give my condolences to uh, the victims, you know, of the of the tragedy, you know, that occurred at the, uh, the Pulse nightclub, which is supposedly a gay nightclub, too. And if I'm not mistaken, the, uh, the, uh, the shooter of the incident, Omar Mateen, I think that he had like a, they said he was kind of against like a, I heard he was like kind of closeted too, I heard that he was like, there's rumors that he's like, you know, but it's still ongoing, you know, because it just happened recently, you know, but I heard that he's actually like a closeted um, gay male to himself, but he did have like a wife, you know, I think he was married like two different times, and he also had like a son too, from what I'm hearing too, you know, has like a son as well, you know. But uh, I, I heard that he does. He did have like a dislike for like uh, the LGBT, you know, like a uh, group, you know. I heard he didn't have, you know. And plus, he was like a, a part of like the, uh, I think what you call it, the uh, that what you call it, like racist kind of connected to uh, what you call him. Yeah, he was of of a uh, Afghanistan race. He was actually born here in America, I think, in New York City. Then it's like they moved to like Florida when he got older or something like that. But uh, Omar Mateen himself, he's actually like of uh, Afghanistan, you know. So he's actually like, this was actually like a terrorist attack, you know, to a certain extent. Actually, it was like a terrorist attack because he even played like a uh, allegiance to like certain like Al Qaeda like uh, organizations and stuff like that, you know. And he was even saying, there's rumors that he was even saying stuff like uh, he wanted America to stop bombing his country and stuff like that, you know. And so on, as he was like uh, shooting and mowing down like the victims at the other nightclub, you know. But yeah, um, to me, this was like on a terrible incident, you know, it was like, you know, it's kind of drawing my interest more and more, you know, the more I kind of keep up with it and like, you know, like no set and stuff, you know, it kind of draws. And I'm, I'm even planning on taking a trip though, you know, one day, you know, eventually, you know, so I'll probably like, you know, like whenever, you know, I don't know if they ever going to reopen like Pulse and stuff like, you know, but I'll probably just go within that, that vicinity to that area, you know, probably like some videos or pictures there eventually, you know, because it's so close to where I'm at, so I can easily just go up there, you know. But yeah, again, I'm just giving my condolences to like, you know, because I had to be like a terrifying incident, you know. Cause I know they even have like certain video that they have released, you know, of some of the victims, you know. Like I think one of them is known as Amanda. You can hear like the actual like gunshots in the video that I did sound like scary, you know. She was actually killed herself too. Cause she was, you could see her like holding it, you know, you could hear like the shots and stuff. And she was actually killed herself too as well. So I thought that was kind of like sad, you know, and terrifying too, you know. And I heard they, they also have like recent like uh, footage of like uh, old Mark Martin, they say it's like very like, you know, gruesome and I think and shocking where he's like walking around just like they say like just shooting down like the, the victims of the uh, the Pulse nightclub, you know. They had, to, they're actually like putting that together now that like the, uh, I guess you said the FBI, whoever, you know, who's, they're trying to piece together how the events of the, uh, the, the Orlando uh, Pulse nightclub shooting happen, you know. But, uh, so I guess they'll probably even have footage there that I'd be kind of interested in that, you know. Like, they'll probably release some of that eventually, I'm surprised, and probably not the stuff that's real graphic. But I'm sure they'll probably, like, stuff popping up with, like, old Marl, like, him walking around, you can see him shooting and stuff like that. Because from what I heard, he didn't even have armor on either as well, you know. He just went in and just, like, you know, like, just started just shooting everybody, you know. But he did get into, like, an altercation with the, uh, I think, like, the security that was at the front door, you know, but he somehow just managed to still make it in with the rifle that he had and just started shooting down people. And plus another thing that's kind of interesting too is like the amount of victims, like lives that he took to, you know. It was just like, you know, it's sad, like, they, 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 either they did something like that, it seems so evil, but you know, I'm not going to like knock what his beliefs were because he has like his own beliefs and his, his race and stuff like that, you know, so I'm not going to knock any of that, you know. But the idea that so many lives were taken, you know, and you can see, I can also see how he was actually able to plot and do that. It's, it's, it's no question he had plotted this, you know, he probably went through the whole Pulse 
like nightclub, you know, went there occasionally because there's rumors that he did stop by the Pulse nightclub on certain occasions, you know. So he probably just scoped out the whole club, you know, but and then made preparations to go in there to shoot it. He knew that they would be just easy prey. Because when you think about it now, you have all this music, like loud music playing, and everybody's like drunk and high and stuff. I used to smoke and all that myself, you know. Even drink, you know, but I don't really do it no more, you know. It, it actually has been 10 years since I smoked. You know, I'm not going to touch on the things I smoked and stuff like that, but you know, you can just imagine that everybody was like high and stoned out. They didn't, they probably didn't know what was going on, so they couldn't even run or nothing, so they're just like easy targets. You just went in to start shooting, you know, so they couldn't do anything, you know. So I was kind of like, you know, just, you know, saying it had to be like a, it had to be a terrible and frightening like situation, I'm sure of that. Because the idea they said he actually went through the club, worn down people like the bathroom. He went into like bathrooms in different parts of like the other club and stuff like shooting them and stuff. So that had like, like, ooh, that had to be like a terrifying uh, incident. But eventually, you know, they actually was able to uh, take out Omar Martin, you know, like the cops showed up, you know, and he got into like a gun fight with them, you know. And they actually took him out. And I heard he managed to shoot at one, like in his, but like they had like armor on their helmet. Because you could see like the bullet in there on their helmet from the shot that Omar Martin had shot, you know. <sighs> but now he didn't know he didn't take out any of the police officers. But the idea that 49 people were killed in this club, you know, plus Omar Martin himself, which made 50. Then he also injured 53 people. So he actually shot at over 100 people when you think about it. But 49 were killed, and he made the 50 person when they killed him. He was the 50 person that was killed in this mass shooting. But you also had like 53 other people that were injured. So actually, you have over 100 people who were shot at, you know. You have half 50, like 50, well, you have 50 died, and then and 50 of them just were injured. So, like, whoa, you know, like, ooh. you know, just I still like, whoa, that's, that's, that's amazing, you know, the amount of people, like, you know, that he, that he was able to shoot up like that. But, um, again, yeah, I'm just, uh, I, I was shocked at this situation, you know, kind of like, you know, that had like a horrifying, like, situation to be in, you know, at this club, you know. And that, that idea that it lasted so long, because he supposedly went at Omar Martin. He went in the uh, the Pulse nightclub at around 2 a.m. on uh, I think June 12th in the morning, right when it was about to close, because they were serving like last minute drinks, and he went in, you know, to start shooting. Because as he was doing this, you know, he was actually sending like posts to like Facebook, and I think his wife said that he did you hear about me? I'm shooting up the club and everything like that. Then they eventually got to the news. Even Pulse themselves have posted like a thing on Facebook saying, you know, they were telling everybody to get out of the club and stuff like that. There's a shooting, you know, everybody running and keep running as fast as you can and stuff like that. But the actual events occurred for like, I think like three hours. He started shooting at two o'clock in the club, but everything wasn't over until about five o'clock. So you had these people stuck and trapped inside this nightclub for like three hours because some of them were even hiding and stuff like that, you know. So I guess he couldn't find all of them, you know. And I'm surprised nobody didn't try to attack him, you know, try to take him out, you know. That's what I thought was kind of odd, you know. But the idea that it lasted so long, so you had these people stuck in for like, like about three hours, you know, having to worry about this uh, this terrorist, you know. So I had to be like a frightening uh, experience, you know. But yeah, I'm just giving my uh, my regards to uh, the victims, you know, and family members of the victims, you know, of uh, the Orlando massacre, mass shooting, which is supposedly the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history, you know. So I'm just giving a shout out to that. And, uh... That's all I really have to say, you know. Y'all have my uh, condolences, and, and I pray for the families, you know, of the of, and loved ones of these victims, you know. And I have I don't have nothing against like the gay or lesbian or transgender or bisexual. I don't have nothing against that like that uh, that race, you know. That I mean, you know, them people, you know. But okay, that's all I have to say, though. All right.